Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press. As you know, there has been a lot of discussion about the 2022 Tundra and whether you should have bought the first year or should have waited for the second or third year. Mainly because of the problems and trouble we have been seeing in the new introduction of the Tundra. Now, generally speaking, I still would say it's safe to buy a first year production when a new car or truck is launched when it comes to products from Toyota, Lexus or maybe even Honda and I even made a video about this a while back but with all the things that are happening with supply chain there appears to be more and more defects and issues at both the supplier side and the production side so does that mean I no longer recommend people buying the first year of production well the answer is kind of yes and no and depends a lot on whether the new model has all new everything like new engine new transmission new technology, new platform, new factory, in which case the answer is no, don't buy the first year, maybe not even the second year. But in some cases, a new model is nothing more than a refresh consisting of a newer body and some interior refreshments, but the engine and transmission and powertrain remain the same. In that case, obviously it's safe to buy the first year. So ultimately, my recommendation on whether or not to buy the first year, it depends on the factors involved in the new model introduction, such as the powertrain, the body design, the interior design, technology, where it's built, and whether or not that factory is new or not. So what I'm going to do now is to share with you engineering secret, which involves what we call decision matrix, and in it, I'm going to spell out exactly what you should do in terms of buying the first year, second year, or even the third or fourth year of production. Let me take you through that right now so that you will never ever be in a situation where you buy a car or truck and it's going to give you a problem. Welcome back. The first thing you need to realize is a definition of a new product. So for example, if a car company introduces a new car or new truck, but it only has body changes, but nothing else has changed, is that still considered a new model? Or is it simply a refresh or facelift model? Compared to, let's say, a case in which almost everything is new, including the engine, the transmission, the body itself, and sometimes even built in a new factory. So both cases might be considered to be a new model introduction, but the risk is very different. Something that is all new, from engine to transmission to the factory to the workers, has a much higher risk buying the first year than something that has been facelifted or refreshed, but pretty well everything else behind the scene is not all new, well that is pretty safe to buy in the first year. So let me explain to you exactly what you should do in terms of buying a new model based on the range of the changes that the current company have made. So I'm going to include these factors. Does the new model have a brand new powertrain which includes a new engine as well as a new transmission? That's the first question. The second question I will ask is does the model has a new body design which includes all new body as well as all new platform. Yes, it is in fact possible to have a new body but to have an existing platform because underneath the car, which is what we call the platform or chassis, can remain more or less the same while just the body on top could have changed. A uh, third element that we need to consider is interior. Does it have all new interior and does it also have a new technology such as a new infotainment system? The fourth factor you have to keep in mind is whether or not the new model is being produced at an all new factory with new workers. Obviously that is more risky compared to a factory that's been around for a while and the workers are all experienced. And based on these factors, I'm going to tell you exactly which of the year of the new model introduction is safe to buy. So I created this new model buying decision matrix for you so you can make an educated guess and decision as to what to do with new models. And I'm going to go through each one of these step by step. The first scenario is when everything is very risky, which includes brand new powertrain, that's new engine, new transmission, and then new body design, which includes both new body and new platform, such as a TNG a platform from Toyota. The third element is that interior is all new, as well as the technology inside of the car or truck is also all new such as new infotainment system. And then in the worst case or most risky scenario, it's also built in a brand new factory, which doesn't happen very often, such as a new uh, Toyota factory we have seen in Alabama. If the worker is new, not all that experienced, and so is the factory, of course the risk is the highest. So in this scenario, it's new powertrain, new body, new interior, and new factory. 
In that case, I would avoid buying the first three years and instead wait for a facelifted version, which is usually in the fourth year. Now, to be honest, not too many models are in a situation like this where everything is brand new because most car companies will avoid having that situation because it's simply too risky. So that's scenario one. Now let's take a look at scenario two. Scenario two is very similar to scenario one, except it's not built in a brand new factory, which is the most common type of new product introduction. So if you look at my decision matrix one more time, uh, scenario two is when the engine is new, the transmission is new, the body is new, it's also based on new platform, and even the interior and the technology is new, but it's built in an existing factory with experienced workers. So at least you minimize the risk of having major issues simply because experienced people are building this new model. But despite that, I would not recommend buying the first two years in that particular case in this scenario too, because it's still somewhat risky, which means I recommend buying a third year or later in this particular scenario. So the third scenario is the most common one. And if you follow me on my decision matrix, you can see the third scenario means that the engine and transmission is not all new, but it's a refresh. So it's retuned, recalibrated with some changes, but the body design and the body platform is all new. That's very common. As well as the interior is all new, including new technology such as a new safety system and new infotainment system. But let's assume for a moment in this scenario three that the factory is an existing factory built at a factory where there are experienced people. In this case, which actually mimics exactly what happened with the Toyota Tundra, I would just avoid buying the first year by safety by second year onward. So this is a case in which the factory is experienced and for the most part, engine and transmission is not all that new, but it's being recalibrated and retuned, but everything else is new. You could still have a body integrity issues, but for the most part, you're not gonna face anything major. So if you avoid the first year and buy second year and beyond, you're going to be okay. Now let's go through scenario number four. In this case, once again, following my decision matrix, the powertrain is no change, it's not even refreshed. The body design, however, has been refreshed, but not all new, and then interior, also going through some changes as a refresh, but not all new, and is built in existing factory. So this scenario, which is scenario number four, is quite common because what I'm describing is basically a facelift or refresh year, when most of the things have not changed, but they did make some changes to the exterior, to the interior, and refresh some of the technology. In that case, I would just wait maybe six months before buying the new model. So after, let's say, six months of production, I think it's going to be smooth sailing and it's absolutely safe to buy. I might even argue that uh, in the first six months it's reasonably safe because there hasn't been a major change. So this is scenario number four. Now let's take a look at the final scenario, which is scenario number five. And if you look at my decision matrix, scenario five consists of the following. The powertrain is exactly the same as the previous year, so no change there, but the body has been refreshed somewhat in terms of things like headlight, the rear tail light, then maybe some of the uh, valance underneath the bumper, but the actual platform has not changed. The interior goes through a little bit of a refresh, but no new technology, no change in terms of infotainment system or safety system, and it is definitely built in existing factory, which is proven and experienced. In that case, you can buy any time in the first year and will be very safe with a very low risk. So in this scenario five, I would say it's absolutely safe to buy the first year production. In fact, you can buy it as soon as they start to produce because chance of having some kind of issues are pretty minimal, even in the first little while of the production. So I just described five scenarios in with a varying degree of recommendation, all the way from safe to buy the first year to wait for three to four years. And based on the scenario of the product being introduced, you can match it up to my decision matrix and make your own decision. Now, obviously this is kind of a general rule. And for the most part, I'm referring to Toyota, Lexus, or Honda, Acura product. If it's some other brands where they don't have a great reputation for reliability, then I will add one more year to my recommended timing and that should work out for the most part. So I hope this will help you decide what to do in order to buy a car or truck that will provide you with the least amount of hassle and least amount of risk. Obviously, there are many factors involved in decisions like this, so it doesn't mean that this will apply to everything, but for the most part, if you follow my recommendation, it should be pretty safe. 
Now, if you found this video helpful, then please let me know and please subscribe and hit the notification bell because that would be really helpful for me. So until next time, I'm signing off for now, but thank you so much for watching my video. We'll catch you very soon.